are in the process of getting our incubator up to temperature so that we can hatch out some more quail eggs. Our quail eggs are from AJ Farms LLC. That's where we got our original eggs that we hatched out ourselves to start this colony. So this is going to be Jumbo Meat Makers and the fairy quail. So we're really excited to have even more quail to add to our colony. And now it's morning. The morning after our sweet little, not, not so little, <laughs> Doling is born. Her belly feels full and happy, but I did just place her next to the tea. I haven't actually seen her grab the tea in her mouth all the way. I've seen her bump it a lot. But um, she's obviously been fed through the night because her belly is full, so that's good. Um, we will keep a close eye on things. <laughs> Ruby doesn't want to share her breakfast with Autumn. Autumn is in here because any of the other stalls, she would be treated much worse. Ruby ramps her, pushes her out of the way in a cranky way, but she isn't awful, so. Hey, you guys. What are you here for? To see the baby girl. What do you think? He looks cute. This is the boy's first time meeting her. Isn't she fluffy? Isn't she big? Yeah. She's so much bigger than Goober, isn't she? Yeah. Goober is the name that we've been calling the little bottle baby buckling in the house. That yeah, she does that. She's just she's just telling Autumn to let her have that side of the bowl. Me. All the goats are talking now. They all want their breakfast. I better go give everybody else their grain, too. It is super cold this morning. It was down into the 20s last night, so we're feeling that cold air. They're going to go outside because it's not raining, so they're going to be happy about that because they've been kept inside too long because of the rain. Everybody's kind of happy because I just gave them an extra large scoop of feed. Um, I normally just give them the minimal amount just to get them a little something in their belly before they go out and eat all their hay and forage. But because of the colder temperatures, I want to make sure that their rumens stay really functioning and active today. So they got an extra large scoop of feed, which they're loving. And we have thyme, flour, and fern left to kid. And time feels like her ligaments have softened up and her tail is a little bit wet. So it could be that we will have kids again today or tomorrow or possibly soon. But I've gotten to the point where I'm not going to pay attention to due dates anymore. <laughs> Ruby was like a week late. <laughs> Shy was a week early. Kitty was three weeks early. Well, Kitty was a whole different circumstances, but you know, it's just... But they do say five days before, five days after the due date. So just like humans, you just never know when they're going to have their kids. Hi, kitty. Why are you rubbing on me? You love mama? So since I got out here, the boys have been saying, is it time to be going in yet? And seeing how I got busy doing chores and they got busy being boys, they have completely changed their tune. You found some pyrite? I think so. Oh yeah, that's very, yep, very shiny. So they are playing in the sandy mud. <laughs> oh, is this fun for you guys? Yeah. Getting dirty, looking for gems. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so we are preparing to sell fern and flour after they kid. So either if the buyer wants to buy them with kids, then they can get them that way, or they can get them three months later when we wean the kids for selling those kids off. We will be keeping time in her dolings. If she has any bucklings, we will sell that. But it's pretty exciting times here at Wholesome Roots with the babies being born. And we're just so glad for a nice positive turnaround. So next 
I need to get started is my tomatoes, peppers, eggplant, um, uh, ground cherries, tomatillas. I think that's it. Well, for now. We were able to get the chicken tractors into the garden to try to combat some of the weeds ahead of time for us. Um, and because we've had such rainy weather, it looks like it's already grown back. <laughs> so it got a few of the weeds knocked down for us. The ducks did the best job. They tend to make a muddy mess very quickly with their tractors. The bees are glad that the sun is out. <laughs> they are so busy and active. They're just so happy. They've been cooped up for a while. Now they're getting to come out. I know, I know my my uh, entrance reducer is not installed properly. That was as far as we could wedge it in. We're gonna have to do some sanding on it to get it the proper size. But it does reduce the entrance, just has two openings. <laughs> All right, the boys informed me they're ready to bring their newly found treasures into the house and rinse them off. So we are gonna head on in. Glad to have a break for the weekend from the rain. These temperatures today are low, but tomorrow's supposed to be a little warmer and hopefully dry. And then next week is bringing us more rain. It is spring, I guess, almost, huh? If you don't already follow us on our Facebook page, our Instagram, and our TikTok, please check us out. We're Wholesome Roots on all of those. We also have a Facebook group with an active community called Wholesome Roots Farmstead Friends. And we'd love to have you join us there with any of your questions. So come check us out.